hold up. And play back. Is that weird now? We come from... Ah, see? Because we're coming from... That's why. Ooh. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What are we doing here? Yeah. Dancing. We're dancing. And then we'll figure out what the frame does, yeah? Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, go. One, yes. Dancing to me means so much because dancing is an international language that everybody can understand without having the same words. It's really beautiful to see people connect throughout dance and music and being able to communicate without saying a word but by a feeling. Actually, I was up late one night and I stumbled upon this dance piece that just stopped me in my tracks. And I immediately took that video, sent it to my team, and was like, we need to do something with this. We sent Charlie a DM. And straight from the jump, they were kind of like super interested in the idea of really bringing across what we do into the commercial world. We get a lot of offers for these sorts of things. Very often we say no, but Gap is like such an iconic history in dance and commercials. It felt like a natural synergy. I don't know, give something like, Mwah, you know? <laughs> give some fun, uh, something. Let's see what it is. What it is, something. Don't give something. Yeah? For now, I want to see how it looks. It's just beautiful vibes everywhere you go. From the dancers to the creative team to the production, everyone is just so beautiful. So it was just like, it's, it's good energy when you walk back into it, you know what I mean? And you can feel it. It just feels like a, it felt, it felt like a family. It felt like a jungle family. You guys hear who the hero is? No. no? You guys didn't hear who the hero is? Uh, Tyler from uh, Twitter. Oh, shit! Uh, oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> I think that's, I think it's confirmed, right? It's confirmed, right? When I found out that Tyler was gonna be the hero talent in this piece, I was super ecstatic. I think Tyler's an amazing artist and very authentic artist that comes from Johannesburg. And I feel and I see her South African side that's so ingrained, it's so authentic to her and she brings that back in her artistry. I was kind of nervous, I'm not gonna lie, because I don't dance like this. Just with the walk, with the I've been dancing my whole life and my own style from South Africa. So the fact that I got to explore this different style was very exciting and new. Even before I started doing it, I was a fan of Shay and the whole song and the dance. So it's kind of like God was like, you can join, you know? Three, hey, ka, chi, chi, ha, warm, warm, beautiful, nice. When we drift, this is a good point from Josh. Or she in. comes to him and she does this, or like just some sort of like, oh, you're right. Like they know that they're together, or that there's some. There's a character break. There's a chemistry. You know? Let's yeah. watch in the mirror. You walk and then you lean on him. Yes. Love. Yeah? Beautiful. This was really great. There we go. Three, two, one. We've been rehearsing first with the dancers, getting them accustomed to the new choreography, and then bringing Tyler in, fitting her into that world. It can be very scary to come in a room with like a lot of dancers that have been training for their lives to do what we were doing. She did so well when she came in the room, and, and I think she was so fast so quick with the steps, and she understood everything I threw at her. Our whole dance troupe is like one big family. To see her come into that and like just jump straight into it has been fantastic. I think everybody that's been on this project is like elite in what they do. So it's been a, a real cool journey to see all of them showing their light and being amazing.
Philip, are you saying sure? For us, styling is so much of an exercise in capturing someone's confidence. Less about what we want them to look like, but what we want them to feel like. Damn. Yeah, I might have to just keep it simple for them. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir, ski. But then I like, I like the bandana as well. You know, as much as we come in with a point of view and a plan, it's really about receiving and understanding and learning about these people reading their energy, seeing what they respond to, understanding their personal style, and leaning into that. Immediately, yes. Just trying. Immediately, yes. <laughs> seeing if it's dancing good. You know what I mean? It's starting to come, it all started with her and feeling like this this was like a feeling to try to capture each person's, you know, individuality. For sure. That's a great look. Yeah, yeah. And we have finished the fitting. It was great. And these people are amazing. We love them a lot, especially my dresser. Jess is the best. They're all amazing, but Jess is the best. <laughs> Creativity in its best form comes when you feel safe. And clearly they've created a, a really safe environment where everyone can be themselves, everyone can speak up, everyone can have ideas. One of the main reasons I wanted to like fill the space and make it feel sort of more avant-garde is just to like get away from that like completely clean look. Even the contrast of this on the ground, plus the dancers. See how it feels, and then maybe, yeah, if we need to, break it up a little bit. Calvin's like super genuine with the fact that he wants to like bring Gap into Jungle's world just as much as Jungle coming into Gap's world. Ultimately, I think for us, it's, it's not about having a plan and executing against it. It's about having a feeling and chasing that feeling together. And then knowing, you know, like this is, this is it. Got there. <laughs> Cut it out. It ain't easy. It's complete trust. And that only really comes from knowing each other inside and out and knowing that there's the respect. And it's been caught on camera. But also that, like, I can step out of the room. Like, Shane knows what I want. Guys, all here. Let's go in the first position, yes? Five, six, seven, eight. to go and check out the set that we've never seen. They remade almost the same set that we did in Alexandra Palace for back in 74. <laughs> Cut. Guys, let's go. Let's just run it once, yeah? Yeah. Let's Frame set. Here we go. And in three, two, one. Playback, 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 playback. What I love about a one-shot video is that it shows the strength and the talent of the dancers and you kind of have to do everything by one go and have all the choreography set. It's kind of risky, but what it feels to me is that it's honest and it feels very immersive. As if you're dancing next to them, that it really shows that we're able to pull it off and that you see how good these dancers actually are. Yep. 
most of the blocking is just a Shay and Gary conversation. And like, when they're happy and they're good, and the dancers and Shay and Gary know what's going on, then it's me and Josh, we can jump in, we can do the details. I think I'm going to get them to hold, have a moment, leave, be, and then everyone breaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end. Yeah. I was thinking about that, but you've got to watch the 60 seconds. Because you're going to go, that will be 1 minute 03, and you get the break of character. Watch this. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> what if Tyler stays one second longer, so you take your time, and then you run? Just give a second. So what you can do is use this. Dun, 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 go. Back. That's the moment you walk away. There's a reason why they do what they do so well. There's a reason why Tyler does what she does so well. There's a reason we do what we do. It has been a true collaboration. Ooh, Everyone was so patient and kind, everyone had good energy, so it was really fun, you know, it wasn't like I was working. It's between our team, their team, Tyla, the dancers, and it was truly like a shared vision that everybody had a different thing to deliver against to kind of come together to make it a reality. I love working with the same people again and again. Some of them have been there since the very early campaigns, and there's a lot of camaraderie and a shared language that is just seamless between those guys. From our point of view as directors, like 90% of our job is to cast the right people, get the right crew, and then put them in the room, and you kind of take a little Homer Simpson step back into the bush and just watch it kind of all happen. It's been truly an amazing experience to see everybody shining this light on this project to make it something special, make it magic. Guys, that's a wrap for today. Thank you very much. Well done, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.